Whitney, press releases and stories written about you have all said that you are going to be a megastar and that the mm -hmm. album is going to be a hit. Is that a pressure for you? Is that a tough way to break into the recording industry as you are? No, actually it um, makes you feel kind of good that um, people um, foresee and, and see things that you expect from yourself. You know, it feels great to me. I don't, I don't deal with the pressures and things like that. Actually, the pressures of the recording industry aren't all that new to you, no. are they? Why is that? Well, I've been in this business for about 10 years now. I started at 12. So it's not pretty, you know, new. It's pretty much old <laughs> to it now. Why make the decision to pursue a career rather than stay doing backup uh, vocals? Um, I don't know. Um, starting out in church and, and singing background and singing in the choir and things like that, um, when I decided to become a singer, um, my mom thought that it was best that I start, you know, at background and learning how to, to work in studios. And if you want to become a solo artist, um, this would be the best way to, um, you know, to learn and to grow. So that's exactly what I did. Now your mom is well known as a as a gospel singer. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you follow in her footsteps? Actually, I did. <laughs> um, then you took a right turn, right? <laughs> <laughs> as she did. Um, I don't know. Um, I guess um, gospel is something that will never leave you, whether you want it to or not. Um, it stays with you for the rest of your life. And um, I don't get a chance to go to church, and I'm not active as I used to be. But um, I do go every now and then. And I don't know. I guess decided that, well, hey, if they like it, then maybe everybody else will. So, does that gospel filter through your music today? Oh, definitely, definitely. There's no way to escape it. What kind of advice has your mother given you now that you're starting out? I mean, she's been there. Yeah. Um, watch out for this. Watch <laughs> out for that. Don't get into this. Don't get into that. And keep your head on straight. And I'll keep your feet on the ground. So don't worry about it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Do you ever ask her specific things about? Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, sure. I mean, because she knows. She's been out here long enough to know. So, yeah. What has she told you about the tough side of this life? Well, when I said that I wanted to become a singer, um, she said, okay, I know you know all the wonderful things about this business and all the glamour and glitter and things like that, but um, I'm going to tell you about the dirt now, and I'm going to let you know all the negatives and the people that you have to watch out for and the kind that will come to you and all those things. So, yeah, she lets me know all that stuff. Have you seen that change oh, take yeah. place? Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. What does help you keep your head on straight? God does. Um, I know that um, he is an anchor for me, you know, and being out on the road, you know, it gets kind of lonely and... Um, Mom said being at the top is lonely. <laughs> so um, I don't know. Um, he's just something that um, I depend on. And, you know, when I'm lonely, I, I can talk to him. And I'm tired, and I don't want to be Whitney Houston today and that kind of thing. He says, come on, let's go. Whitney, you're just a kid. You're, yeah. what, 21 years old? 21. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you're missing something because you have to be Whitney Houston every yeah. day and you have to be on? No. Um, my mom and dad made sure that um, growing up, I got a chance to grow up. Um, I could have had a contract when I was 14 or 13 years old at that time, but um, I was still in school and I was still learning and I was still growing. They just made sure that I had my childhood and that I was a teenager. And when I decided to say, okay, I'm ready, I said, okay, we're ready to, let's go. Did the modeling experience give you some confidence, give you some uh, of the needed business mm. sense? Uh, modeling helped me um, work with camera and, and um, taught me a little bit about um, positions and, and things like that. But um, yeah, it, I mean, it helps in any way that you can. I mean, you're dealing with camera and, and you know, things like that, and pe talking to people and dealing with people. Yeah, it helped a lot, sure. I see you sitting across from me, and you mm -hmm. do look like a kid. When mm -hmm. I see your video, for instance, yeah. you've got the moves and the mannerisms mm -hmm. of a well-seasoned performer. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, all those years of, see, all those years that I was um, a teenager, and I decided to say, yeah, I want to be in show business and be a singer. I was groomed, you know, for this thing, but it was on my decision that I said, yeah, this is what I want to do. Who did you watch? Who did who influenced you? Who did you listen to? Besides my mother yeah. and Dion, um, Aretha, Aretha Franklin, and uh, um, Stevie Wonder, Quincy Jones, um, Gladys Knight, uh, Shaka Khan, great people like that. And where does Whitney emerge from that? <laughs> Who does she come out as? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I Just me, you know. I, I take everything that I can and things that are uh, that I think are worth it or worth it to me and I take that and I mix up into my own and I
come out with me. How do you react when people compare you to the young Lena Horn and, mm. and uh, Billy Holiday? Mm. How do you react to that? I'm very honored. I mean, those ladies of, I mean, God, I'm very, very honored to be compared or to be even mentioned in the same breath with these ladies. Yeah. Do you feel a responsibility to carry on a family tradition? Since I have chosen to do that, um, yeah. Um, my mom and Dion are heavy ladies in this business, and to come up, you know, behind them or to come up, you know, as a part of them, yeah, I feel sort of, uh, yeah, I got to do this now. Let's go. When you read reviews that say, yes, she is gorgeous, but mm. surprise, folks, she can also sing. Yeah. Is that a, a strange way to be, to be viewed? Is it I flattering? Guess, is it insulting? No, it's kind of flattering and um, not insulting at all. Uh, Why are they so surprised that somebody who's beautiful could also have talent? I don't know. I guess it's simply because um, it happened. It has happened. I mean, beautiful women have come up and have had great voices and great talents, but and it's nothing new. But I guess um, it only comes once in a blue moon, so to speak, you know. So I guess that's why they are so surprised or shocked or whatever. Bottom line, are you having fun when you do this? Is this still an adventure for you? Yeah, I would not be a part of it if, if it wasn't fun, if I didn't love it and enjoy it. Yes, it is. What is the system? for a new recording artist. Your album has been out, a video yeah. is out. Mm -hmm. Now what happens to you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I play it by ear. I, I really don't know. Um, I just play it by ear and whatever happens, you know, and whatever I'm supposed to do next, that's what I do. Do you go on tour? Do you promote the album? Yeah. Do you promote yourself? Yeah, you promote the album. Um, you introduce yourself. Um, yeah, you do all those things that it takes to make it a success. Do you still improve? Do you still work on getting better? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, there's so much more to go and so, many, so much more to learn, yeah. You still have room to improve, and you don't know everything, so, yeah, yeah. 20 or 30 years down the line, mm. what kind of a career would you like to be able to reflect back on? <sighs> I don't know. Um, a good one, I hope, you know, one that's been um, successful and uh, what I've worked for. Um, lucrative, you know, things that I'm not in this business for my health, of course, but <laughs> yeah, but um, just one that's been, um, I've accomplished something that I've made myself proud and made my family proud of me. Is it of a concern to you that your mom and Dion, your family, yeah. is proud of you? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, it's important that um, I become proud of myself first, and um, yeah, it's very important that I, I um, make my mom proud as um She's looking forward to it. What if your career doesn't pan out as you hope or mm -hmm. expect? Are you prepared for that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, one of the things my mom told me is that um, look out for disappointments and, and rejection. And if it doesn't work out, don't worry about it. You'll do something else. You know, you, you can do anything you want to do. This may sound like such a simple question, but why do you love singing so much? What kind of a feeling does it give you? I love it so much because it's a part of me. Um, kind of like runs in my blood, you know, if you know what I mean. Um, it makes me feel, and, and the thing that's most important, it makes other people feel. Um, if I can just say one word and, and somebody will say, oh my God, you really touched me. I mean, what you said here, what you said there, it really just floored me. I mean, that's worth it all. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure people say this to you too. You uh, and I sort of said it in the interview. Mm -hmm. You look so much younger in, in yeah. real life. You mm -hmm. not that you look old on camera, but <laughs> you have a a certain amount of poise, and and you really assume that Whitney Houston role, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. And uh, it's it's amazing. 